Uh, thank you again for giving me this time. Shall we have a drink in the bed? Come here, come here. What? Hold up. There you go, my dear. Okay. There you go. Be good. You can give me your phone number and your address. Should we slip your jacket? Put down your crumb. She's 15. She's too old for you. What, what, she, why are you just no, like she's my daughter. Please take me instead. Take my anus. I'm tucking my shirt in. I assure you that's all I was doing. When I get up, she says something about do I want a massage? I realize now that this is a setup. He also tweeted at no time before, during, or after the interview was I ever inappropriate. If Sasha Baron Cohen implies otherwise, he is a stone cold liar. I watched the footage. Why did you go into a bedroom at the suggestion of a young woman to have cocktails to take off a mic? I take off a mic every night. Never once have I reclined on a king-size bed. didn't bother to interview a single witness. Bother to interview a single witness. Just like you. He'd be, he'd be disciplined for that. To interview a single witness. Disciplined for that. You witness for that. They moved the people counting the ballots six further feet away. We all knew what Donald Trump and his cronies would do if they lost. They would claim the election was actually stolen. They've been you know, saying this for months. And of course, that's exactly what they are doing. But the way they've been doing it is even more perfectly in line with their M.O. than anything you could have conceived or dreamed of. On Saturday, Trump announced over Twitter that his team would be holding a press conference at the Four Seasons Hotel in Philadelphia. A few minutes later, he followed that up with a clarification, Four Seasons Landscaping. Two minutes after that, he deleted the first tweet and started over, quote, big press conference sitting in Philadelphia at Four Seasons, total landscaping. Oh, that Four Seasons, of course. Obviously, they screwed up. They called the wrong place, and they just thought, well, let's just go with it. Like, <laughs> Trump, can, he can never admit that he might be wrong. The only way it could have been more hilarious is if the Four Seasons total landscaping shop was located in a CD industrial strip mall sandwiched between a crematorium and a sex shop. Keeping located just down the block from Fantasy Island Adult Books and Video Store and across the street from the Delaware Valley Cremation Center in far north Philly. And that's exactly where it was. <laughs> As they set up in the parking lot, the major news networks called Pennsylvania and the presidency for Joe Biden. Some of the journalists started to leave. The race was over just when the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, showed up. Well, take a look. Because they don't decide the election. The call for Joe Biden isn't, is it? Who was it called by? All the, oh my goodness, all the networks. Wow. All the networks. <laughs> um, he recited a few uh, unsubstantiated claims about dead people voting in Philadelphia in front of a garbage door covered in Trump posters. You couldn't, you almost couldn't tell he was at the Four Seasons Total Landscaping except for the Big yellow reel of hose. At least Giuliani is going out with his head held high, you know? <laughs> Screaming like a crazy person, but still, head held high. Rudy Giuliani held a press conference. <laughs> he held a press conference about the election, and let's just say, in the history of insane Rudy press conferences. <laughs> This could be his masterpiece. At one point, Rudy's hair dye <laughs> actually started dripping down his face. In the states that we have indicated in red, Georgia, Pennsylvania, the 
50 to 60 witnesses we have for the way they were treated and not allowed to inspect the ballots. Probably the closest they got is from here to the back of that room. We could do like a, uh, did you all watch My Cousin Vinny? Did, you know the movie? My, it's one of my favorite uh, law movies because he comes from Brooklyn. And uh, when the, the nice lady who said she saw, and then he, uh, he, he says to her, how many f fingers do I, how many fingers do I got up? And she says, uh, three. Well, she was too far away to see it was only two. These people were further away than my cousin Vinny was from, the, that could have been Mickey Mouse. That could have been a dead person. Oh, Mr. Giuliani, you already voted. I did? I don't remember voting. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Once, twice, three times. Unless you're stunad. That's an Italian expression for stupid. I could, I've seen people make more sense after pounding a case of four loco. And Rudy's hair yeah. dye dripping that down his face. And this is an elite strike force team. <laughs> He's sweating like Borat just walked in the room. Sir, is it your goal for this to pressure officials and lawmakers in these battleground states to block or delay certification so the GOP can pick their own electors? Is that the end game? <laughs> what publication are you with? CNN. <laughs> Wow, nothing screams confident lawyer like a guy standing in front of everyone dripping in sweat. <laughs> but this is good. Rudy dried himself off by standing in front of a leaf blower from Four Seasons Total Landscape. We're frustrated with what we keep reading. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, that come from other people, American citizens. <laughs> uh, uh, in case you missed it, here's a photo just so you can see. When Rudy wakes up in the morning, his pillow must look like a Rorschach test. <laughs> my, my dad never came to my baseball games. Later, they had to clean Rudy off like a seagull in those commercials for Dawn Dish Soap. To help save wildlife affected by oil spills, rescue workers have opened up a lot of Dawn. They rely on it because it's tough on grease, yet gentle. But even they'll tell you, Dawn helps open something even bigger. This year, Dawn is also donating $1 million to rescue efforts. Go to Facebook.com, Dawn Saves Wildlife. Find out how the little things you do can make a big difference. Uh, it's not all bad for Rudy. He just uh, landed a hair dye endorsement from Just for Unhinged Men. <laughs> I've never seen him one time, one time, act inappropriate. I've never seen him one time act inappropriate. You know, you're really beautiful. I'll go backstage before a show, and I'm allowed to go in because I'm the owner of the pageant, and therefore I'm inspecting it. I've never seen him one time act inappropriate. I just start kissing them. It's like a <laughs> magnet. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. I can do anything. I've never seen him one time one time act inappropriate. This may be the best of all. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. I've never seen him one time, one time act inappropriate, act inappropriate. Oh, oh. Donald, I thought you were a gentleman. Hm. You can't say I didn't try. You gotta be kidding me. You better apologize for that. The United States. What you are States? saying is an outrageous defamation of me, of my reputation.